Should you shoot with both eyes open? Yes, we should. Hey guys, Mark is back with Nardis Gun Club with today's bullet point. Today what I'd like to talk about is shooting with both eyes open. Should you shoot with both eyes open? Yes, we should. Here's the thing, when we close one eye, we're eliminating half the information we can take in. When we're shooting these firearms, we want to take in as much information as possible. So it makes sense, both eyes open. I know that can be challenging, especially when that target starts getting a little further out. Here's our tendency, that target gets further out, we start aiming. I get it. We've all done it. Some of us still do it. What I'm here to talk about is how to stop that, get those both eyes open, and start taking in more information and becoming better shooters. First step, understanding eye dominance. What we need to understand is which eye is our dominant eye. We're going to have one eye that is naturally stronger than the other, just like we write bat throw with one hand. Here's what we do. We pick a small spot on the wall. We take our hands. We take the, the webbing between our index finger and our thumbs make the smallest sliver we can while looking at that spot on the wall. All we're going to do is keep our both eyes open, looking squarely ahead, and bring our hands slowly back to our face till they land on an eye. For me, I'm left eye dominant. So, I shoot right-handed, I look with the wrong eye. At least that's what they say. They also say I should shoot left-handed. No, I'm not going to do that. The other thing they say, well, if you're not going to shoot left-handed, you need to tape up your glasses, train your right eye, make your right eye the, the dominant eye, and fix everything that Mother Nature broke. I'm here to tell you that doesn't work. All I'm gonna do when I present my firearm is I'm gonna turn my head a little bit to the right. I'm getting my dominant eye in line with the sights of my firearm. That's it, that works. Same thing if you're a same-handed shooter with your dominant eye. Let's say I'm a left-handed shooter, my left eye is dominant. If I'm having difficulty closing that eye when I shoot, I'm gonna do the same thing but to the other side. All I'm gonna do is go to the same side, getting my dominant eye over that line of sight. Now, understand that we close one eye, we lose our depth perception, that's fine. Depth perception is what it is, it's a perception. Even with both eyes open, I'm working on experience. I'm not deducing the distance about how far things are away from me. Also, if I close one eye, I'm not gonna all of a sudden start tripping over things. However, when we're shooting, when we start putting stressors on our shooting, say we shoot under a timer, say we're trying to improve our cadence, say we're doing target transition or putting that target further out, we're adding stressors to our shooting. We're becoming better shooters through this process. What we need to understand is the more information we can take in, the better shooter we're gonna become and quicker, might I add. So shoot with both eyes open. Give these two techniques a try. What I believe you will find is it may be a little bumpy at the start, but you will become a better shooter on the other side of it. That's all I've got for this, guys. Thanks again for watching today's bullet point. Marcus with Nardis Gun Club. Please like, follow, and share.